Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took this $20 antique bench and turned it into this gorgeous white timeout bench for Everett. If you like today's video, please subscribe and hit the like button and stay tuned if you wanna watch the whole process. Okay, first I'm gonna start out with this crud cutter just to cut out all the oil and dirt and really give this piece a good scrub down. I was having a hard time deciding how I was gonna refinish this piece, whether I was going to strip down and just leave it a natural wood, or if I was gonna actually just paint it. And I decided just painting since it was a pretty soft and cheap wood. Just going ahead and taking out the seat bench pieces so I could paint them a little bit easier. After those are removed, there were a few little cracks at the top of the bench that I just filled in with some wood filler. And after the cracks were filled in, I just went ahead and sanded them down so it was nice and smooth. This would make easier for the paint to adhere and look a little bit cleaner. As you can see on the sides, there was also a couple of chips in the wood, so getting some sandpaper out and sanding down those rough areas just so that the paint would look a little bit nicer. There were a few pieces of tape, just like um, scotch tape on the piece that I needed to remove because I really didn't want the paint to show up over those. And after you've sanded and gotten all of the grease and crud off and made all the chips nice and smooth, you wanna go ahead and take either a damp washcloth or I like tack cloths as well and really kind of wipe down, get all of the dust off. Now I just took some matte white spray paint. This is paint and primer in one. Since this piece won't be a heavily used piece, it's not a high traffic piece, just a paint and primer in one will work just fine. And the key to spray painting evenly is not doing and holding the button down consistently. It's light strokes over and over and over just to keep the paint on nice and thin. You wanna be able to do thin layers and build it up rather than having too much at a time and having the paint drip down. This is the most time consuming process, but if you take your time, the paint really comes out nice and even with no streaks. Now here I'm just taking some black chalk paint that I had in my toolbox and just being very careful to just put the paint on the letters. I wanted it to really stand out. I found that after a few strokes I was using just a regular paintbrush and it was kind of making a mess. So I found this sponge paintbrush that I had in my toolbox and that seemed to make it a lot easier to control where I was putting the paint.
After the paint dried for about a day, I just went in and re-screwed in the seat pieces. The final touch is just putting on some wipe on poly and letting that dry for about 24 hours. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you liked this content and learned a tip or two, please feel free to subscribe or follow me on Instagram on Shasta underscore Davidson DIY for all things DIY with a sprinkle of a little bit of mom life.